Laura, what have you got going here? Well, I loaded it up on my thighs and yep. then like you can actually really, it's it's not like you put on weights and you can feel it. I think when feeling when you move, you can feel that there's something there and it's holding back. And I think, and then I put some on my calves as well. I put different types to just feel the weights because it was, it's very interesting to see that like, you know when you put normal weights on, you just put one weight on the bottom and yeah, then it's the just, old, uh, yeah, those the, old ankle weights and yeah, this Yeah, you just weight. feel them on the bottom, but here you can actually feel them where the weights are. So here on the back, I can feel them on the back and mm. the one on the front, I can feel them on the front. And that's really interesting to know that. So you can actually do like muscle, like for example, like if you have a weak back muscle, then you yep. can put, and or you have a weak front muscle. So that's very interesting. And for us, we have different movements where we need a, like a stronger thigh or stronger hamstring. And so that's really interesting. And I. Can really feel them, and then yeah, can you can feel actually, that, eh? yeah, it, it feels like light but heavy. It's a really interesting thing. It's like it's light on the body, but when you start the movie, like oh my God, it's, it's weight, there. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, it's there. It's really but but now go back to that same thing. You're both loaded up a little bit in the upper body, like you mentioned mm. specifically your lower body. Mm. Just movement in general. Of course, uh, the ideal movement is no weight. But if you were doing resistance for some of your mm. specific movement, it's comfortable. Yes, and it's very comfortable. Um, the compression works. I've hit bags with uh, the arm weights on before and uh, you know what, what it allows me to do is it, it's like holding weights yep. but without actually physically holding, holding. weights. So uh, if you hold a weight and you punch a bag you're going to feel it through your, your knuckles yep. whereas obviously you feel the extra weight through your hands but um, you can do the movement in, in a very natural way. Yeah and that, that natural way is exactly what we designed it for and as you mentioned there you'll notice something that's important is like Farah's done and Pete's done, they've dispersed weight across the arm. Instead of having a focal point of a dumbbell or a cable or a tubing or a piece of, uh, of, of a heavy uh, wrist weight, you've got it dispersed, which means several joints are taking that load, which makes it, one, a little less chance of an injury and doesn't interfere with that movement. So the last thing we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna put a few more loads on you and then we're gonna get you to show us some of your stuff, okay? Mm -hmm.